Hello, guys. Good evening and how are you today? Okay. All right, guys. So, thank you uh, for being here, guys. I really appreciate this a lot. Okay, so, um, all right, so welcome. Welcome to the class. Hey, guys, by the way, today is the last class. If you guys didn't know, uh, today is the last class of this level. And, you know, probably after this, I mean, if you did everything you were supposed to do, you're going to go to the next level, right? And that's pretty much what it is. Uh, so I'd like to start asking, guys, do you have any question, any comment you guys want to say? Question, comments? Mm-hmm. Alguna pregunta, chicos, comentarios, algo antes de que comencemos, before we start. Mm -hmm. No? No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. No? Okay. So if you guys don't have any comment, that's actually pretty good. There's... Uh, there's no problem. I really appreciate that a lot. And, you know, and, but you, you guys feel free. If you have a question or you want to say something, you can just go ahead and let me know. Now, this is a phrase that we have for today, guys. And it says, sure, sure. well, oh, tell me. Uh, the score of the final, uh, the final test or mm -hmm. all the, 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 the class. Mm -hmm. uh, when do you say no? Say. Oh, okay. Actually, you will receive that uh from from Andy. I will say. Uh, normally they just give you a, a, what they we call a, the consolidate uh grades chart. So you will receive them with all of them. Um. Probably, probably they will give it to you by this week i would say probably by friday or monday something like that but they will give you that grades i mean i i don't check them but uh they will give them to you and they will tell you if you are approved to go to the next level or if you are not really approved you know but yeah they might give it to you i would say soon like i mean I'll, um that's what it is. I mean, I don't really have like a specific date. So, you know, mm -hmm. but yeah, you will definitely receive that. Okay. All right. And uh, any other question guys or anything? No. All right. Iris, do me a favor. Can you please read the phrase for today? Just, just read the phrase. Try it again. Point. Again, fall better. Thank you so much. So that will be something like try it again, fail again, fail better. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you a couple of minutes, guys, and tell me, what do you think about that? Mm -hmm. Any opinion, any volunteer? Let me know.
Okay. Try it again. Fail again. Fail better. Remember, there is no right or wrong answer. It's just what it is, okay? It's just what you think. Teacher, tell me. Is the same thing the, like the last class, right? Yes, just give your opinion about the phrase. Okay, mm -hmm. so try it again, fail again, and fail better. Um, fail is part of the process, and but you can do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, try and try and try. And that's all. Right. all. I got that, you know. So failing, it's part of the process, right? So as you said, just never give up, you know, just keep on trying until you get it. Thank you so much. That's a very nice opinion, Fernando. Thank you. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. Any other opinion? Teacher, tell me. Fail is the process of the uh, people do not fail, never try mm -hmm. to do all some things. Okay. So fail is a process, right? People who never fail, probably they never achieve or uh, achieve something, something important, right? So it's okay to try. It's okay to fail. So yeah, thank you, thank you, Christine. Uh huh. One more, one more participation. Teacher. Uh huh. Tell if me. We don't try. Well, never know if it right. Say that again, please. Repeat it. If we don't try, well, never know if it right. Hmm. Okay. So if we never try, we will never know if it works right i think that's what you said mm -hmm. okay yeah i mean it's 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 exactly what i think you know i mean how do you know if that works if you never do it if you never try it right like like when you're learning english como cuando estamos aprendiendo inglés si nunca nos equivocamos si nunca tratamos ya yeah, entonces no va a costar un poquito más. Entonces, hay que equivocarnos. Hay que tratar. En la frase en español diría algo como, trata otra vez, falla otra vez, falla mejor. Uh -huh. In other words, cada vez que decimos algo, un ejemplo en inglés, y de repente no lo decimos bien, pues nos equivocamos. So, ahí el teacher le corrige. Y usted corrige algo, después lo vuelvo a decir, se equivoca, pero no se va a equivocar menos. Menos, 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 hasta que va a llegar un punto en el que no mistakes, right? No se va a equivocar. Al menos con una cosa que le haya costado mucho, right? Entonces ahí ya no se va a ir equivocando. So that's what it is. So that's what it is. Any other opinion? Ajá. Uh -huh. No? No more opinions? I teach you. Me. <laughs> Me. <laughs> All right, go. Uh, Tell us. Uh, the practice. Uh, is the, no. Nos ayuda. Say that again, the please. Practice. Practice. practice uh -huh. no, help us. Help us. Yeah. The perfect. Yeah, definitely. You know, the practice will help us to get better. The practice will help us to do the things better and to learn things, you know, and all that, right? 
yeah, pretty good. Okay, thank you so much. Um, all right, so let's do something else right here, guys. Well, is there any other opinion, guys? Alguna otra opinión? Aproveche ahora, aproveche. <laughs> yeah, no? Okay. If there isn't any other opinion, guys, I'm going to take the attendance right now. So if you are here, you can say present or I'm here or anything that will help you, okay? So, uh, Abigail. Okay. Uh, Alejandro Antonio. Anderson Jeremy. Present. Mm -hmm. Blanca Stephanie. Present. Briseida Lisbeth. Uh, Camila Lisbeth. Present. Carlos Aníbal. Present, teacher. Ya decía yo, Carlos, ¿qué le pasó a Carlos? ¿Qué, nos, ¿Qué le pasó a Aníbal? ¿Qué no está ahora? Dije yo, pero tenía la cámara encendida. A, a mí me apagaba. <ríe> ok, so... Es que voy viniendo, por eso. Ok, it's ok, it's ok, don't worry. Um, -ra -ra -ra. Cecia, Gemima. Present. Yay, I hear you now. Ahora sí lo escuché. <ríe> All right. So let's go with uh, Claudia Maricela. No? Okay, Christian Daniel. I'm here. Thank you. Elsie Gabriela. Present. Okay, Emilio Isaac. Um, Estela Elizabeth. Okay, Estela Marisol. Present. Fernando Jose. I'm here, teacher. Okay, he's not here. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Floricia Mejiver. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Glenda Guadalupe. Um, Hazel Marcela. I'm here, teacher. Ingrid Esmeralda. Present. Iris Milena. Present. Jaime Alexander. Jaime Iván. All right, let's see. Juana Isabel. Karina. Jamilet. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Joanna. I'm here teacher. Thank you. Carla Marcela. Present. Thank you. Uh, Kevin Joel. Patricia Dorila. I'm here. And Lazaro. I'm here. Awesome. All right, guys. So thank you so much, guys, for helping me with this right here. I really appreciate that, okay? So thank you for the attendance, as I said. Uh, Teacher. Tell me. Why is pretty sure or algo así? Una frase que menciona. Uh, uh, pretty much? No, lo, lo que acaba de decir hace un momento. ¿Qué dije? Um, <laughs> what did I say? It's like pretty sheer or pretty like that. Um, no, yeah, I don't know. Pretty, pretty much is like, más o menos. 
that's pretty much what it is. Uh-huh. Yeah, but query here. I'll go here. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for being here. No. For helping me. No. I don't know, man. I'm sorry. I don't know what I said. <laughs> No sé lo que acabo de decir. Okay, <laughs> when you say cosa. again, I... Okay, yeah, when you hear it again, just tell me, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. It's 4.30, then... Okay, cool, yeah. Then I'm going to play it on time. It was okay. All right, so... um, Let's continue right here. Let me share my screen right now. And da -da -da -da, yes, number one. Okay, guys. As you remember, yesterday we were talking about what? What were we talking about yesterday? Mm -hmm. Sobre qué hablábamos yesterday? What were we talking about yesterday? Mm -hmm. Pasamos de noche ayer. <laughs> what were we talking about yesterday, guys? You don't remember? What? Question down the, <laughs> Question? Question down the H. Uh huh. WH questions with what tense? With the verb to be? Or no? Yes. Present continuous. With the present continuous. Continue. Right? With the present continuous. So. We were talking about that. Uh, we were actually talking about the, you know, the questions with the present continuous. You know, like for example, what's Victoria doing? What's Marcus doing? You know, you just need to remember, guys, basically what this structure is. Okay, and remember, if they ask you a WH question, you are going to say or give more information. You are not going to say yes or no. Si le preguntan, what's Marco doing? Yes. No, no, so no, yeah? Tenemos que dar more information, right? So that's what we have to do. We have to give more information. And so that's pretty much what we were doing yesterday, right? Now, today we're going to cover, a, I would say a few activities right here, which is something that, uh, we're going to be doing today. And uh, let's see. Let me. Okay. But before we do that, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta, chicos. No? Yes? Okay. Let's do something. Just as the way to recap, to remember a little bit, let's work on this exercise. Exercise. Uh, well, we're going to answer this question. It says, What's Marco wearing? This is pretty much what we were doing yesterday, okay? Um, that's what it is. And for example, it says, answer the questions about the pictures. I know that at this moment, you have probably done this or you have probably completed it, which is okay. But I'm gonna give you right now a few minutes so you guys can check this. Les voy a dar un par de minutos para que puedan revisar las um, respuestas. Si ya la hicieron, if you finish, you can raise your virtual hand so we can check it. Pueden levantar su mano virtual para que podamos revisarlo so we can check it. But if not, I'm going to give you five minutes. Les voy a dar cinco minutos para que podamos acá revisarlas. Okay, this is the exercise on the platform. Okay, yeah, you know, this is what we were doing yesterday, actually.
Cuando terminen, levanten su manita virtual, please. If you have a question, let me know. Si tienen preguntas, déjenme saber, please. Sure. Tell me. Can you help me with something, please? Uh, yeah, what is it? Tell me. Um, in the section number three, after that, um, let me see. Section number three. Yeah. Um, uh, in the. Después del 1, 2, 3, 4, el apartado número 5, creo que es la primera actividad. 3.4. In English. Sorry. 3.4. Yeah. Okay. Let me wait for that to load, okay? In the exercise number 2. This one? Oh, sorry. Uh, let me see. Yes. In conversation two. In... No, she's not. She's from the UK. In this case... Uh, when I... When I put... She's um uh, it's like there are there is a mistake. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but I I asked to Andy and he doesn't answer. Uh -huh. He didn't answer. Mm -hmm. And that you put he, you said, or she? She. Mm -hmm. Did you check if there was any extra space? Yeah, but it, it covered it. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but it's in covered in my case. And I, I'm trying in different ways. Let's see. Okay. I know what it is. Eh, probablemente está usando el apóstrofe que está a la par de la P si tiene su teclado en Spanish. Ese no es. <ríe> eh, tendría que ser el que está a la par del cero. Um, donde está el question mark donde está el signo de pregunta entonces yo ahorita lo acabo de cambiar y puse el que está a la par de la P y me lo tomo mala entonces no es ese tiene que ser el que está a la, a la par del cero sí 
كيس I suppose that is the same thing with the other. Could be. Se le arregló si lo puso así. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's what it was. Es que como o sea, ante nuestros ojos es lo mismo, ¿eh? pero en la computadora no. So, it's it's crazy. It's just the program, you know. That's what it is. Okay. But yeah. Okay, cool. I'm happy we were able to get that solved. Thanks for that. No, you're very welcome. It was my pleasure. Okay, uh, let's check this right now. So, Christian, can you help us with number two, please? But, excuse me. What's Marcos wearing? He's wearing a pajamas. He's wearing a pajamas. Mm -hmm. He's wearing pajamas. Okay, yes. We don't need to say a ah, because if we say a, ah, it means that it's one, right? So okay. we can say he's wearing pajamas. Pajamas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh okay. Um uh, all right. Uh, let's go with number two, the, number three, I'm sorry. That's going to be for Iris. Help us with number three, please. Teacher is two. Uh, ah, sorry, sorry. Number three. Yes, three. Who's having breakfast? Yes. Who's having breakfast? Sue and Tom are having breakfast. Okay, Zoo and Tom are having breakfast. Yes, you got it. Yes. Number four, let's go with Floricia, please. Okay. What's Celia wearing? She's wearing a suit. What's Celia wearing? She's wearing a suit. Suit. Mm -hmm. So, all right, Blanca, help us with number five, please. We are Dennis and Annie eating lunch. Dennis and Anne, Anne are eating lunch because it is noon. Okay, James and Annie are getting lunch because it's noon. Ok, just remember these guys. Cuando les pregunten why, les están preguntando por qué. So, nosotros tenemos que responder también por qué esto y esto. Ok, so, va a ser because. Ok, pueden ponerlo at the beginning or just like this place right here. It's ok. So, we will say something like uh, James and Annie are having lunch because porque es mediodía y ya hay hambrita esa hora, right? So that's why. <laughs> so that's why they're having lunch. All right. Number six, that's going to be for Ingrid. Help us, please. Where is Andre working? He is working in Moscow. Okay, yes. Where's Andre working? Andre working. He's working in Moscow, right? That's what it is. So. All right, so uh, that's pretty much what it is, guys. Just remember the structure, okay? Solo recordemos la estructura de las preguntas. Y cuando nos hagan una WH question, ahí sí no vamos a poder responder sí ni no. Yeah. <laughs> Sino que quedar más información, right? So it's like, uh, he, I mean, like in this case, like he's wearing pajamas, right? And things like those. That's what we need to focus on. Okay. So, any question about that, guys, before we continue? Questions? Preguntas? Confesiones? No? no. <laughs> All right, so let's continue then. 
let's go with the next one. And what we're going to learn right now, guys, is that by the end of this class, it says you will be able to learn vocabulary for discussing different activities, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. And so I'm gonna um uh, gonna play. Oops, oops, oops. I'm gonna play the uh, video right here. So I need you to listen and repeat if needed. Okay. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with vocabulary in order to express activities. Let's start by listening and repeating. He's playing tennis. He's playing. He's tennis. riding a bike. She's running. He's swimming. She's taking a walk. They're dancing. She's driving. They're going to the movies. He's shopping. She's reading. She's studying. He's watching television. Now, your task is to describe the actions from the pictures and form statements in the present continuous. For example, he's playing tennis. She's riding a bike. You should get creative and change the he or she for names of people that you know. For example, Mike is playing tennis. Mary is uh, riding a bike. After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so that's what it is, guys. Um, I'm gonna tell you that these are like daily activities that we know, right? For example, we have right here, play tennis, ride a bike, run, swim, take a walk, dance, drive, go to the movies, shop, read, study, watch television. Those are a few of the, um, I would say, daily activities that probably we do, I mean, during the day or the week, but that's what we do, right? Now, we have the first one right here. We have playing tennis. Okay. So we have play, oops, my bad. Play tennis. Let me ask you something, guys. What is the verb here? What is the verb? Play. 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 Okay. So play is a base form. What about the, I would say, present continuous form of this verb? Playing. Playing, right? Playing. So we got play, playing. So now let's make a sentence. Affirmative sentence with the present continuous. What is the first thing that we need? The subject. Okay, can you give me a subject? He. He. Can we give him a name? Hagámoslo más challenging. Marcos. Marcos, okay, good. Mm -hmm. Marcos, what? Marcos is playing. He's playing, playing tennis. He's playing tennis. So Marcos is playing tennis, right? And so that's what it is. Now, what did we do? As you can see, guys, we just actually added ing, okay? Play, playing. Of course, there are some exceptions, right? as we were talking yesterday. For example, if uh, the verb, the last three letters of the verbs are G, I'm sorry, not G, uh, vowel consonant, vowel consonant, we have to double the last consonant, right? So for example, get, getting, we double, we double the last consonant. Only when the last three letters of the verb are consonant, vowel, consonant. Then, yes, we do it. Okay. The other one is 
when the verb ends in e, you know, we would just remove the letter e and we would just add, um, for example, we would just add ing. And here we have an example. We have ride a bike. Okay. In ride a bike, what is a verb? Right. Right. So right. we would have ride. It would be right in. Right in. So we will remove the letter E, la removemos, and we just add ing, right? So what will be a good example? Mm -hmm. An example here. What do you think, guys? Who is riding the bike? Carla is riding a bike. Thank you so much. I don't know if it is written like this, but Carla is uh, riding a bike. Okay. And then we have it. Carla is riding a bike. Now, Christian, choose the next classmate. Who's the next classmate? Um, choose one of your classmates. Floricia. Okay, Floricia. Now give us an affirmative sentence with run. Okay, with run. Like these examples. Oración sería completa. Yes, one complete sentence. Christian is wrong. Uh -huh. Christian is Mm -hmm. Right now. Okay, yes. Christian is running right now. Now, let me ask you something. Double N or no? What do you think? Yes. Yes, right? So we will say run, running, right? Double N. Why? Porque por lo que nos dice la regla, right? That's why. When it ends, cuando termina el verbo, las últimas tres letras en consonante, vocal consonante, vamos a doblar la última consonante. O sea, no es que vamos a agarrar la letra y la vamos a doblar, sino que vamos a repetirla, vamos a ponerla dos veces, la última consonante, ¿ok? So that's what we're going to do. ¿Ok? Run, running. ¿Ok? Uh, Floricia, choose the next classmate. Choose one of your classmates. Um, Jaime. Jaime Ivan. Okay. Jaime Ivan. I don't think he's here. Let's choose somebody else. Camila, Camila Lisette, help us with swim. Maria is swimming in the pool. Mm -hmm. Maria is swimming in the pool. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. Now, double M or not double M? Yes? Yeah. Why? ¿Por qué? Why? Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué doble M? Why double M? Mm -hmm. Uh 
Ajá, ajá. No lo puedo decir en, en español. En inglés. <risa> Entonces no. <risa> Entonces no. En español, ok, tell me why. Porque es eh, no es vocal, no es consonante. Ok. Uh -huh. La regla dice que si las últimas tres letras del verbo son una consonante, vocal y consonante, si doblamos la última consonante. Y acá las últimas tres letras es una consonante, vocal, consonante. Okay. Entonces sí aplica, right? Entonces we will say, we will say swim, swimming. Right. Mm -hmm. En este caso, teacher, este, la pronunciación varía con la M. Sometimes, yes. Swim, swimming. So, yes, it, it changes mm -hmm. to the ING sound. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Jose, Fernando, next one. Take a walk. I mean, Fernando, Jose, al revés. <laughs> the opposite. <laughs> Uh, the teacher is not taking a walk. Oh, that's minute. negative. Uh huh. The teacher is not taking a walk. It's oh, okay. Sorry. It's okay. Are you married? No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay if it is negative. Now, I just want you to focus on something, guys. Uh, it's a take. We have an E here, and then we say taking. We remove the E, right? So the teacher is taking a walk. The teacher is not taking a walk. It's okay. So who's the next one, Fernando? Choose the next classmate. Um, probably Blanca Stephanie. Okay, Blanca Stephanie. Dance, make a sentence with dance, please. I'm sorry, Blanca. <laughs> no, no, Blanquita. Su compañero se preocupa por usted. Por eso la eligió. Para que Así más. veo. Teacher, <laughs> <laughs> ¿lo puede hacer un poquito más para acá? La pantalla casi no se ve la imagen. Okay. I can do something better. Thank you. Bigger. Oops, too big, too big. Demasiado grande, pero le <laughs> Okay, tampoco exagere. ¿no? <laughs> All right, let's see. Oops, this is crazy. I don't know if it will work. Yeah, go. Dance. Eh, Sara, Sara y en, en, en clown, clown guía. Mm -hmm. Dancing. Dancing. We're missing the verb to be. Sarai and Claudia. Is. Are. 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 Dancing. Dancing. Mm -hmm. Dancing in the air. All right. So. Dance in Paris. Starting in my heart. Okay. Dance, dancing. Right? That's what it is. Okay. Thank you. Blanca, choose the next uh, classmate, please. Ingrid Esmeralda. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Good. En cualquiera, teacher. Uh, drive. Um, the next one, drive. This is the one okay. that it makes. Uh -huh. um, Mary is driving in, in your car. In my car? I <laughs> thought it was not here. Okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. Thank you. Ya me afligió que Mary se llevó mi carro. <laughs> okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Ingrid. Thank you so much. Yes, that's okay. You know, Mary is 
driving in your car. Or you can say Mary is driving your car. Mm -hmm. Drive, driving, right? Okay, who's next, Ingrid? Um, let me see. Elsie Ramos. Okay, Elsie Ramos. Go to the movies. Okay, Elsie is not here. Iris then. Iris has the face like she she wants to practice, you know, like she wants to participate. Steve is going to the movie in his house. Once again, please. Steve is going to the movie in his house. Going to the movies. Mm -hmm. Now, one little thing, and it's okay. Thank you, thank you. Um. Steve is going to the movies. Boom. Hasta ahí. Why? Because the movies, um, for any reason, it's the cinema. Okay? So, um, a menos que él tenga un cine en su casa, sí podría funcionar. Mm -hmm. Pero, uh, if you say movies, se están refiriendo al cine. The cinema. Okay? So, uh, el cine pueden verlo de, de esas formas. You can, pues, si le dicen, hey, let's go to the movies, le están diciendo, vamos al cine. Or if somebody tells you, let's go to the cinema, then you know that is um, el cine. But it's more it's more common to say movies, to be honest. So thank you, Iris. Mm -hmm. Steve is going to the movies, right? Um, we got to go. And then we say going. Next. Who's next, Iris? Your microphone. Sorry, Karina Yamilet. Okay. Karina. Karina, Karina, are you here with us? No? Okay. Camila quiere. Thank you, Camila. <laughs> okay, let's hurry up with this a little bit, guys. Uh, Marcos is shopping in the market. Marcos is shopping in the market. Now, double P or not? Yes. Yes, right? So we have to add a double P. So we say shop, then we say shopping right and next is gonna be for uh carla joanna help us with read please um okay. cecia is reading in the house mm -hmm. okay Cecia is reading, so we got read, and then we say reading. Cecia is reading in the house. Uh, then we go with the study. Let's go with Anderson. The study. Study. A study. Mm -hmm. Marco is studying. Okay, Marco is studying. Este Marco se volvió bien famoso aquí con nosotros. ¿va? <laughs> study, and then we say is studying. All right. Now, like this. Now we say study, studying, and this is one thing. As I told you last last time. There are some exceptions, you know, a few times 
uh, like in this case, in this specific verb, study, we will just remove this letter Y and we will just add ING. Study, studying. It's not with all of them, but with this one, it can go like that, okay? As you are practicing, you are going to get familiarized with this and you, um, you are going to learn them. And the last one, watch television. That is going to be for, okay, says, yeah, help us, please. Uh -huh, tell me, tell me. Mm -hmm. Tenía double P or just one P? Era con doble P o con uh, P? Sí, con doble P. Uh -huh. Vaya, y habría que revisar, como les decía, si hay un espacio doble o si estaba tal vez una letra mal. Pero como les decía, cuando les pase así, traten siempre de tomarle un screenshot y pueden como de repente mandarla. Ah, ahí con Andy para, para yo, yo estoy reportando cada error que veo eh, o cada cosa como esa pero si les sigue pasando traten de, de hacer eso try to do that mm -hmm. so they can help us but yes, should be written like this shopping mm -hmm. just, just like that alright uh, watch television uh -huh. any volunteer and so we finish with yes. you ah, I... tell me Anyway. They are watching television. Yes, they are watching television. Exactly. So we got watch and then we say watching, right? Watch. Oops, 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 oops. Watch. Then we got watching. Watch, watching. And that's what it is, guys. Okay. So any question about this? Questions? No? Yes, no, could it be? Okay. Oh, right. So, okay. So if you guys don't have any question, let's just continue with this right here. And uh, I mean, this is like the knowledge check right here, and which is something that Christian was asking me about uh, yesterday. So let's do something. I'm going to play the audio, and so we will listen to that together, okay? So it says, uh, what's Mary doing? Listen to the sounds and respond in each numeral. Follow the example. So what's Mary doing? Let's listen. Answer questions about each sound. One. What's Mary doing? What do you think? Driving. 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 Uh -huh. driving. So Mary is driving. Let's go with number two. Two. Okay. Screaming. Swimming. 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 The complete sentence. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta completa? She is swimming. She is, she is swimming. swimming or Mary is swimming. Mm -hmm. Three. Okay. What is she doing? Mary is eating. 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 Mary eating. is eating, I will say, having dinner. Or, yeah, I will say having eating. dinner. Or, well, um, having lunch, having dinner. We'll see, okay? Let me see which one is better. Mary is, let's put eating and see if that works, okay? Oops, Mary. Okay, let's go with the next one. Four. Next 
Okay, so what is Ma she doing? M Mary is watching television. Watching television. Okay. It can be like watching television or listening to the radio, but let me check it. Mary is watching uh, television. Okay. Let's go with the next one. Five. Mm -hmm. She's dancing. Mary is dancing. La Macarena, right? That's what she's dancing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Six. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Mary is riding a bike. bike. Mary is uh, riding a bike. Riding a bike. Seven. What is she doing? Mary is playing. She is playing tennis. Playing yes, tennis. tennis. Mary is playing tennis. Eight. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. What about number eight? Typing. She's typing. 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 typing? She's typing. Mm, I will say that she's shopping. I don't know if you checked it before. Let me let me check it. I will say that mm -hmm. she's shopping, but I'm not quite sure. Mary is shopping. So you said typing? Probably you checked it before. All right. Wait a minute, the spaces. Did you complete this one, guys? I think it's just because it's she. So she is shopping. No, that's freaking crazy. She'll be working. T-shirt. Uh -huh, tell me. You only put the uh, the the action. Watching TV. Oh, really? The action, only action. Uh, dancing, ride a bike, playing tennis. Typing. Mm -hmm. Okay, just the action like that. Remember, Watching television, I... for example. Mm -hmm. Like eating and all that. Thank you for helping me with that. You know, I mean, shopping. Let's see the point. All right. Anyways, that's we got we got the answers, but you know it's just that about the platform that sometimes it will change a little bit. Now I don't really see the example that it says that we gotta follow here, but um probably that's the reason why. And anyways, so that's pretty much what it is. Now one of the things is that I'm, I'm gonna say this: cada vez que les hagan una pregunta y ustedes puedan dar una respuesta completa. Eh, hagámoslo. Eh, por ejemplo, no solo decir, eh, por ejemplo, who is eating? Marcos en Lucas. No, digamos la respuesta completa, así nosotros practicamos más también, right? Y se ve como más, más polite. Mm -hmm. Ok, so Marcos and uh, it is our eating lunch right now. Boom, that's it. Ok. Now, just the last thing I wanted to show you guys, and it was basically this right here. Um, I'm just going to play it so you guys know it, but it's a conversation that is taking place on the chat. So let's see. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll read an online chat and develop skills in reading for details. So let's get started. Reading. Friends across a continent. Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. 
She is studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute. Where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. All right. Now, I just want you to see something here, guys. And what it is is that they are using the simple, uh, I'm sorry, present continuous. Like, I'm doing my homework, you know. What are you working on, you know? Like, I'm having coffee. She's reading, you know. He's uh, moving, all right. He's playing. She's calling. You know, that's what it is. All right. Tell me, Lazaro, what's your question before I let you go, guys? You have a question, Lazaro? No? Okay, guys. Do you have any question before I let you go today? I mean, time's up right now, but do you have a question? No? Okay. Teacher. Tell me, Fernando. So in the last exercise, what uh, was the response? Shopping. I, I, I think it was shopping. Let me see. Pero no me da. Okay. Let me try it. Let me try it. It sounded like shopping. Who completed this one? Who got it? Christian, did you, did you do this one? No, I put shopping. Yeah, I I put, uh, typing. Ingrid? También me da el mismo problema. Es que... Typing. 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 I put it. Yes. Okay. She's typing. She is typing. She is. Mm, yeah, it's typing. But that's crazy porque se oye como como que se está una caja registradora, right? I think it's a a, a, a machine. Uh huh. She, so she's typing on the. Okay, I got it now. Mm -hmm. So como cuando cuando hacen la compra entonces está typeando, right? So probably. Mm -hmm. So typing is the last one then. Thank you guys. Thank you for helping me with that. Um, any other question about that, guys, or anything else? No? Okay, guys. Bueno, solo recordarles ahí. Traten de tener todo completo. Eh, si, bueno, si ustedes cumplieron con todo lo que tenían que hacer y todo, eh, pues yo creía que están aptos para el siguiente nivel. Ahí, bueno, ahí les van a decir, les van a revisar los exámenes, que todo esté completo. Si no me equivoco, creo que toman un, como un lapso a veces como de una semana para comenzar el siguiente. No me crean a mí, pregúntenle a Andy. <laughs> He knows better, okay? So, but that's what it is. So, I don't know if you have a question, guys, before I let you go. Teacher. Uh-huh. <laughs> what happened? For the next level. Who, who can be the next teacher? Me? Uh, I don't know, buddy. I don't know. Uh, 
I know they like change the teachers. So mm, I don't think I'm going to be your teacher. You will get another teacher probably. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. No, pero tranqui, si no los veo en el siguiente nivel, tal vez en el siguiente o en el siguiente, y si no, no podemos decirlo. <laughs> ah, pero este, sí, uh, normalmente tratan como de alternar los teachers. Uh -huh. So you guys don't get used to one person and then you just have more teachers, right? Mm -hmm. But I hope I can see you later, you know, I hope I can see you soon as well in the next level, probably. Mm -hmm. Okay, teachers. So, Probably we we will miss you. Oh, or not <laughs> or not? <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, it's most likely that you won't miss me, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, it's okay. <laughs> well, well, guys. Um, vean, de verdad, chicos, ustedes tienen tienen ahí lo lo necesario. Solo no sean por vencidos, okay? Sigan dándole practiquen uh, un poquito de tiempo va a ser lo que necesitamos dedicarle para que nos, no, para que le demos ahí con todo, así que, así que no hombre denle, con todo menos sin miedo, alright so, preguntas chicos antes que los deje ir, any question no ok, if you don't have a question guys, I will say bye bye, it was nice to meet you if I don't see you later, it was nice to meet you, ok so bye guys. Bye. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Nice bye. Day. Thank you. Bye guys. Enjoy the rest bye. of bye. your bye. night. Bye bye. You guys take care. I'll see you later, probably.